right, today's video is going to be my May wrap up and my June TBR. The first book I read in May was Wings by April Lynn Pike. And I had read all this series last year and wasn't intending on reading it again. But they had the first book for like $4 on the Nook store. So I bought it and I read it and I really enjoyed it again. Next, as part of the Bout of Books readathon, I finally finished Dracula by Bram Stoker. And the last seven books in the Twitches series by H.B. Glimmer and Randy Ricefield. These were very difficult to get through at first. I found a lot of things in here to be very cliche and a lot of the characters very annoying. And for the first like six books, the plot was very muddled and I wasn't sure what the exact plot of the book was or what the bad guy at the book Fantos was really after. Finally, in book seven, we started to get some answers and the books really picked up from there. Next, I read Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. This is a reread for me and I still really enjoyed this book. I love Lauren Oliver's writing. I also read Fever and Supper by Lauren DeStefano and these are the second and third books in the Chemical Garden trilogy. I wasn't very fond of the first part of this book. I found it to be very slow going and I just wasn't interested in, in what was going on, but it really picked up about one third of the way through the book and then I couldn't put it down and was really excited to read the third one. I really enjoyed this book a lot and I think it was a fantastic conclusion to the trilogy. Location change, I realized I forgot one book that I read in May and that is The Devil's Rose by Brom and this was a really quick read. It's only, how long is it? A little over 100 pages, a lot of them. It's big print and there's a lot of illustrations, some big ones. So really simple read, read it in a few hours while at work. And lastly, I have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, and I'm not actually quite through with this book yet, but I still have the rest of the day to finish it. So hopefully I can finish it before tomorrow. Next is my June TBR pile, and I have a lot of books to get through. All of these, can, can you even see all of these? Yeah, all of those. I'm determined in June to finally read Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. Determined, I will read this book. Next, Five Summers by Una Lamarche, Una Lamarche, not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm very excited to read this book. It's about four girls at camp and it just sounds really good. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. Everybody keeps talking about it and I would really like to read it finally. Next is a graphic novel, The Looking Glass Wars Hatter M, and this is kind of a side project from the Looking Glass Wars trilogy by Frank Fedor, and this is um, solely about Hatter M, the Mad Hatter. Next up, Who Done It, an anthology. This sounds really interesting. It's all these YA authors are invited to a party only to find out they're all being accused of murder and they have to defend themselves and write out their alibi so they each have a little story that they do. And it includes works by John Green, Lemony Snicket, Dave Eggers, Libba Bray, David Levithan, Maureen Johnson, Gail Foreman, and a bunch of others. And it sounds really interesting and I'm so excited to have found this at my library. Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Everybody talks about this book and says it's really good and it's about a road trip which I think is perfect for a summer read so I will be reading this. Next I will be rereading Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and after that Lola and the Boy Next Door. I will also be reading The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This is the final book in the Gemma Doyle trilogy. I'm very excited to finally be finishing this trilogy but I am nervous because this book is... 800 pages long and it's very thick and it's probably going to take me a while. Hopefully not too long. I will also be reading Beauty Queens by Olivia Bray. And lastly is a book I do not have with me at the moment but it's Shadow and Bone by I'm not quite sure. I'll have the author's name somewhere on the screen. And I really want to read this book because the author is going to be at LeakyCon for Lit Day. If you're going to LeakyCon let me know down in the comments. So I want to read this before I go down to LeakCon and also the sequel to this book is coming out within the next week or so. So I'm excited to read that. It sounds really good. All right, that is the end of my TBR for June. I have a lot of books to get through. Hopefully I can get through them all. Let me know down in the comments what books you guys are planning to read in June. Thanks for watching. Bye.